So here we are, Amsterdam's 16th uh, year on the event at the Meltweg, and who do we run into but Groove Armada, Andy Cato, and Tom Finley? Welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks. So you've uh, you've chosen to do the red light thing here this week. Just give us a little bit more information about red light and what you know what the concept is. Uh, yeah, well, last year was uh, 2010 was was black light, and it was the kind of culmination of uh, probably about 11 or 12 years of playing dance music live with the band, you know, and how we do that. And we made a record which was the the kind of culmination of the sound we've been making on on the festival stages around the world for a long time. It was the best record we made in the tour that followed. It was incredible. We finished up with a few nights at Brixton, our kind of spiritual home, and it was electric. And we decided at that point to to, to quit on our own terms on the on the live side. Go back to the, the DJ thing, which has always been there. We've been resident, you know, from the Tunnel Club to the Space Terrace. We've, you know, we've been we've been on those manoeuvres for a long time, but just to give the, the DJ set the same attention that we've given the live set over the years, and that was kind of became red light. So it's a kind of warehouse house sound, but delivered stadium style with this new DJ booth, so we can control the lights, the lasers, and these incredibly clever visuals. So the whole kind of experience comes comes from us in real time. So uh, yeah, when it goes, it properly goes. Cool. Tom, you've uh, you guys have worked together for years now, and you're practically music gods. Uh, how do you how do you come up with new material? How do you reinvent yourselves? What do you do? What inspires you guys to do move on to a different project? Um, yeah, you know, just uh, I think we just you know we're real kind of near fights, so and we love what's coming up, and you know really inspired by that stuff. So. You know, uh, you know, we've never, you know, we're really proud of the stuff we've done, you know, and like Andy said, you know, we've sort of enormously proud of that last record, but, you know, but at the same time, it's always about looking forward. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I think we're both constantly listening to new stuff and just want to give that a go. So, you know, we're listening to Vision Quest and Crosstown Rebels and Ali Love and people like that, you know, and that's the kind of place you want to be. And, you know, I've never, I've, I've always been motivated by what's kind of next rather than what we've done. I've no, I've no interest in my legacy, and, well, at least until I'm 70, which is a couple of years off. You tweet, uh, sorry, you tweeted earlier that there was uh, a piece of processed cheese or something that you'd you'd found here in Amsterdam, and you said uh, on your tweet that we should expect some some cheese here. Give us Groove Armada's version of cheese. That was actually me just being ridiculous. Actually, it's going to be quite. It was just the cheese link, but actually, no, it's going to be quite the opposite. Of that. I mean, I think what's nice about this this set is, you know, like it's uh, it, it's a, you know, we, this is a set that we've, we've designed for like main stages. That's the sort of drama we love, like kind of. And like Andy said, it's a sort of there's a warehouse sort of ethos around it all. So there's a lot of acid house and that, and it's not pretty heavy. But then every now and then there's a kind of moment that's kind of going to you know kind of bring the hands in the air. So actually, it's actually not cheesy at all. I've just been daft. It's because I've left a very small piece of cheese in the picture. And it's a, you know, inevitable link. So you guys, do you make it uh, uh, a point of coming to the events and the festivals? Uh, do you do you purposely choose these uh, you know things like Amsterdam Dance Event or the conference to? to uh, spur your new projects or do you just decide to just go with the flow? No, I think, you know, some of these, you know, for, for, for bands that have been around, particularly these bands have been around a while, these conferences are not the easiest, you know, because it's a natural thing about kind of these, these, these media-led conference events where the, the, it's all, everyone's enthralled to the new, you know, and obviously, well, lots of things, but we're not new. And red light is a, is a is a whole new thing, and it's been electric, you know, on, on on the festival stage this summer. Putting ourselves in these environments is not the easiest. It's never been the easiest. But you know, there was that time at the beginning for the first three or four years where we, you, you're always the hottest ticket in town because the new kids on the block, you know, and that's how it works. And now it's less easy, and you know, in these places, there's a million things going on every single night. But nevertheless, it's good to put a marker down because this red light show is brilliant, you know. And we know that, uh, as always, we start off with an idea in sort of March, April. We tried, we tried, we tried, and like we've always done, we just put in thousands of hours to keep going until it was how it should be, and now it's how it should be, so we should come here and, 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 and show people how it is. So you're travelling the world with the show, or is, is that the deal? Yeah, we've, do, we've done, I don't know, you know, probably 30-odd uh, gigs this summer, from the Space Terrace to festivals in the Ukraine and Poland and, you know, and the UK, of course, our own Lovebox Festival, whatever, you know, we've been, we've been around the block. But uh, it feels like in the last sort of couple of months, it's really sort of bedded in. You know, we've now we've got our vibe. The, the, the first EP was number one in the buzz charts. Second EP is sounding electric. There's a lot of people on the underground who have got a lot of respect for what we've done over the years, and they're coming on board for EP two and EP three. So, yeah, it feels like kind of uh, the birth of a whole new era again. Andy, Tom, Ricky, thank you very much. Groove Armada. Hi, this is Andy. This is Tom. We're Groove Armada, and you're watching three six five.